Longboarding looks like a lot of fun. Mm. I like the way the boards, you know, have those funky designs on the yeah, bottom. The and yeah. the back of them, sorry. <laughs> so if you want to take up longboarding, head over to Queen and University where you can find the store So Hip It Hurts. They don't they only supply longboards. Uh, they don't only supply longboards, but also skateboards, snowboards, and other accessories. You know what else I wanted to try? I always want to try yoga. It seems so calming and stress-free. Originally a form of virtual discipline. Today there are only so many different kinds of yoga schools. Anyone can enjoy it. Follow Brennan Hain while he follows yoga enthusiasts. Home to five and a half million people, Toronto is one of the busiest cities in the world and living here can be more than stressful. But there's a place at Young and Lawrence where you can learn to dissipate your stress and live at peace. It's called the Ashtanga Yoga Center of Toronto. I recently visited the AYCT and talked to head instructor and co-owner Dave Robson about the way of yoga. Uh, my name is David Robson and I'm, I guess I'm the head teacher and a co-owner of this yoga studio, Ashtanga Yoga Center of Toronto. I've been doing yoga about 13 years and Ashtanga for about 10. Ashtanga is a yoga system that focuses on posture correction and the flowing between static yoga positions. As you can see, the room gets very hot and sweaty. When I was younger, I had a bunch of experiences that made me think that there was a lot more to consciousness than sort of I was experiencing daily. The problem is nothing would make it last, it would never stay, you know, these peak states of consciousness. But uh, while I was searching, I found yoga and the idea is you do the, these little baby steps and you slowly grow yourself towards sort of maintaining and holding that state of mind. So that's why I became interested in it. I became really convinced that even if we don't become enlightened, we become better people. That, that's pretty valuable. My name is Jody Shapiro. I do yoga. I started out yoga just for the physical. I wanted to be strong, I wanted to be flexible, I wanted to be lean, and it just turned into a more spiritual practice where I, you know, what I learn with my breath and what I learn with this, with, um, you know, having to get through this vigorous practice, I feel like it brings calmness to the rest of my life and to the rest of my day. Yeah, it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's, a, it's sort of a, a science of uh, enlightenment, but it's progressive steps towards it. So you have to start by eating well, being nice to people, being really careful about where you put your energy. And so that sort of makes your, your life um, uh, clean. Yeah, so that's a that's a lifestyle. Definitely, it's I'm a chiropractor in my sort of other life, and I feel like I can bring um, a certain extra element to my patients um, by a introducing them to yoga and by bringing you know calmness and empathy to them through the yoga. Like they feel the transformational power of it. They feel like what happens. You know, if you practice it in the morning, it's like you set yourself on your course for your day. I think that's why people come in a way they're seeking change. Right? It's very transformational. It's very extreme. The energy in there, the heat and the pressure. So heat and pressure and time turn uh, coals into diamonds, right? Yoga is a great way to find inner peace and alleviate your stress. If you want more information or you would like to check out session times, you can visit the AYCT's website at www.ashtangatoronto.com. That's it for now. Until next time, namaste. If yoga is not your forte, head over to Good Life Fitness and sign up for a personal trainer. Our Michelle Tierney interviews trainers who whips butt, butts into shape. Let's check it out. Health is something that most people regard as an important part of their life. However, how they incorporate health into their lifestyle is an issue all on its own. One that most people struggle with. So I decided to interview a dietitian as well as a personal trainer to help shed some light on this issue and to provide some helpful tips on how to live a healthy lifestyle. But first, I wanted to know how they got started in their careers. I was actually working in a medical clinic um, in the Bahamas and uh, I found diabetes was just so prevalent and I found I was in the administrative area. I had already graduated from doing a degree in psychology and I found I was very frustrated for them and I really would I was quite fascinated in food myself and just how it all works 
um, and affects your day to day, but diabetes really caught my attention as to um, the style of diet that population has and what it was doing and the effects of it. So I decided to come back to do a second degree. Growing up I played sports, I ran track and field, um, so I've always been active and I started working at a desk job. Uh, I worked in finance, so it was 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and I was always, I started developing back pains and problems because I was sitting so much and I wasn't as active as I was. And I would always find an excuse to be at the gym and I always trained part time as well. So I figured, uh, as I was getting bored with my job and I kept finding excuses not to go into work, I knew it was time for a change and I decided to give personal training a shot. Separately, I asked Cassandra Reed and Dennis Kissy why they think people hire people like them to be involved in their journey to health. There are many reasons you can see a dietitian. You can come to see a dietitian because you have a health condition, pre-existing or existing. Uh, you might have just been diagnosed with a health condition. You might want to just lose weight. You might want to change your lifestyle and you need some direction and help in how to do that. You might have children that have issues or your lifestyle is busy and you're a parent and you need to find out how to juggle all of that and with the meal planning. Um, you might be going through pregnancy and need help with how to eat when you're pregnant. So there are many different health reasons and otherwise just personal interests that you'd come to see a dietitian. A few reasons. Um, motivation is one. I think people need to hire trainers because they need to be motivated. A lot of people want to do things but they just don't know how. So education plays a huge part too. Um, they don't know how to do the exercises properly so that's a big one. And um, just inspiration. A lot of people I mean, they want to commit to things, but they don't really have the, the motivation or inspiration to do it. So I think all the education, motivation, and inspiration. Originally, I hired a trainer um, just to make sure that I had proper technique. Uh, 